area we work on is to ensure that our teachers have the professional expertise to teach the InVenture way, the education approach that InVenture believes in and stands for. So this year we tied up with an organization called CERTAD, which is headed up by Gita Narayan, who is really a uh, legend in the field of education, particularly K-12 education in Bangalore. And that is a two-year professional development program. Uh, it, you have eight modules spread across two years, which also includes observations of faculty and giving them feedback and how they can be better educators. In many ways, actually working on the person again. You grow as a person, you grow as a professional. In terms of how these three or four days fit in the long-term plan and what yes. change or transfer I'd like to see, I think I'd like to see less inertia and more agency. Right? Uh, uh, teachers need to feel that they have the capacity to take the world on and change and do anything that they want with passion and uh, do it well and be able to propose changes and walk the talk and get it done. For too many years, teachers have been the passive bottom line of change that's mandated from the top. Introspection, reflection. I think there has been a lot of introspection and reflection. Maybe we don't bring it out, we don't question, but you know, we are kind of, the ideas are churning in our mind. We are thinking, cross-thinking. I think that's happening on a very regular basis. We are, we are actually doing a lot of uh, automatic thinking, you know, it's, it's uh, besides, uh, you know, I think it's because of the kind of the confined space or because we are, you know, kind of sitting together and we are listening to a lot of, uh, you know, uh, important, I think, instructional uh, learning. We don't do that. For us, it's a habit. It's a routine. We go to school, we do certain things and we come out. We don't reflect. We don't introspect. I think that's happening here. When I get into a course, the first thing I see is if I'll be able to apply it to my class. Yeah? When we started our course in the month of May, um, they had given us a list of tools for thinking which can be used. I, the, uh, the end of the day, I started listing the tools which I had got and, I've start, I, and I started thinking about how I can um, apply it in my class. One of the major um, activities that I've done with my class, especially with my 11th and 12th grade, is called as brain dump. Uh, the course of AS and A-level is so vast that we, will, we, we start with a lot of terms together. So when the kids started learning these concepts and little definitions, we started putting it on a chart with little post-its. Yeah? And then they started doing the affinity mapping. Affinity mapping is like clustering into different groups and finding connections between this. And so the whole lesson, which is supposed to be for six to eight weeks, we could cover it in six weeks and it was on one map. The kids clicked pictures, I clicked pictures and gave it to them. It's a revision um, sheet which they can use it forever. I think our teaching is so curriculum and syllabus focused. We have very little time to do beyond the ordinary, which is teaching them tools which they will use for life. And one of the tools I think is essential is thinking. It's all about application, it's about being able to solve problems, it's about being able to take decisions. And for me, the life skills are very, very important. And the tools, if I can provide them with some of that, they should be able to shine in any environment, which is much beyond the school curriculum. So a program like this firstly stimulates your head, it gets you to think differently because we get caught within the routine and our, and our work and our roles that we have to do. And the secondly, it just opens up new vistas of, you know, teaching or things that you do as a routine, you do it with a different kind of perspective. You're more open to ideas, you're reading things that you would never do before because this is not your subject. You're interacting with people you don't do ordinarily. You don't meet them in school. You meet them and you just say hello. So I think it's, just, it's not just the program itself, but I think the whole experience that you take back with you. And that's very important for me. The students today are, are the ones who make you learn, are the ones who inspire you to perform better. In order to be able to cope with them, you need to constantly, constantly learn. Because with the uh, advent of technology, media and the gadgets, 
they are the teachers and we need to learn and if we have to get what we want to get across to them we have to upgrade our skills so it's basically upgradation of skills and rather than getting caught up between the content i am the content expert i am the subject expert but i need skills training upgradation of my skills what i learned back then is no longer relevant today where there is the kind of unanimous commitment between management the teaching community and the parent community for the vision of the school and i see this as a very powerful factor of inventure that there is harmony in all that there are no real roadblocks i think trainings like certad which especially with keeping in the changing times it is so much more relevant today and fortunate enough for inventure to give this opportunity not everybody provides us with this opportunity and not so upbeat you know the traditional workshop model all of that also done and been through but this is experiential and that is what sets it so apart